do a lot of distress pop art, which is, you know, if you want to know what distress pop art is, it's kind of a mixture of um, cliche or standard, which you think pop art might be, but, but I make it look like it's retro. I make it look like it's about 40 or 50 years old, so it has kind of a vintage look to it. And then I throw a little bit of pop culture and a little bit of current stuff in it. So I kind of make it fun and entertaining. I also do abstracts. Um, I like to do large scale work. I don't like small pieces. I do small pieces, but <laughs> like I said, my, my actual preference is doing larger pieces of work. My abstracts are different than a lot of abstract artists. I don't do a lot of where I go onto the canvas and just pour liquids and pour paint. I actually go in with brushes and do a lot, a lot of detailed work. I do a lot of shows. I, I set up in my studio, which is an ideal studio for me, and uh, I work here probably anywhere from 70, 80, 90 to 100 hours a week, sincerely. I just sit and paint and paint and paint. And it's, it's, it's a good escape for me. It gets me away from cold uh, society. It gets me away from the phone. As a whole, I just like to paint and uh, get myself deep into it and involve myself into my art as much as I can. Anyway, I was renting two apartments here and the apartment manager came to me and said, I have a better you know, idea for you. And uh, he said, I have a space that's available that can't be rented as living space. So he brought me upstairs, showed me the studio, and it's a little two-room studio. Um, it was once a cabana apartment and with bath and uh, said, what do you think of this? So uh, it, it was just like the minute I walked into it, it was like the perfect environment. I mean, it's great. I sit high above, two-story building. I overlook everything around me so I can sit outside and just gaze out the windows while I paint. No distractions. I can occasionally see planes fly over and, you know, my cats run around the studio with me. So um, it, it's pretty functional. It's, it's a pretty functional studio. I've thought many, many times of moving over to Oak Cliff or Deep Ellum or someplace where it's a little bit more trendy and I thought, well, you know, I, I, I kind of like to be the leader of things. So I figured, you know what, I'm here. Maybe other artists will see the, the potential that, that Cedar Springs area has in Dallas and they'll start moving over here.